Okay, friends, this is part two. The Devil Mod Linux 64 bit distro. It's an operating system, okay? So if you're using Windows, it's an operating system. If you're using a Mac OS, it's an operating system. If you're using Linux, it's called a Linux distro, but it's an operating system. Okay, so obviously to download this, friends, what you need to do is you need to go to the website. So we open up the browser here, and you go to your search engine. Uh, excuse me. Okay, what you actually what they can do here is uh, type in DB MLN Linux. Now, Devilmon Linux will run on an old computer. Okay, that's the beauty about it. It'll run on an old computer. Okay, it's a universal operating system. Uh, there's many different types of Linux, Linux distros out there. Uh, and over this last, uh, I would say, seven to ten years, I've tested quite a number of them. Okay, get Devam on here. And if you're running, you can get the network ISO. If you're running the 64, click here. If you're on the 32, click here. Download the ISO, burn up to a CD, and boot from the CD. Now, you can run Linux and Windows at the same time, but sometimes you can have problems with the boot sector if you've got to remove it. So keep that in mind. Okay, so I want to go back here again. And I want to go to here. And I want to type in T. Okay, so I'm going to, let me see now. Show you the satins, okay? So you have satins here. Online accounts. This is for your mice pod and track pod. Uh, details of the system that I'm running, which is a uh, the known version, 3.22.2, and I have, it's using. I have eight gigs of memory installed, and I've got 7.7 .7 gigabytes free. And it's given me the full 2.9 terabyte hard drive, okay? And it's a 64-bit operating system. Default applications. Web browser, Firefox. Now you can use Google Chrome, okay? You can use Google Chrome. Okay, so I'm going to set my email to Thunderbird. Thunderbird, because that's the one I would use on a Windows. And uh, I see for my music. Or you can have VCL player and photos. Okay, so that would be your default applications. Okay, CD audio. Ask what to do. Okay, you can set it to automatically play. If you put a CD in, you can set it to automatically play on the a player at your choice. Okay, so let's go back here. Okay, so this is for Bluetooth. Okay, if you want to use Bluetooth, it's obviously starting to pick up my Bluetooth uh, settings from around the home. Okay, this would be your desktop display, your background, your privacy. Okay, you can have a screen lock on it, and etc. And you can set it to purge your wastebasket temporary files automatically. This is for printers, if you want to add a printer, right, network, and etc. Okay, so this is your power. I have mine set. By default, it comes within five minutes. It's set to blank a screen. So I have set it to never. That's just the choice I have here. Okay, and uh, Wi-Fi. I can turn it on or turn it off if I'm not using it. All right, so that's your settings. Pretty straightforward. Most people should be able to use this, okay? Obviously, if you've never used Linux before, there's other versions out there called Ubuntu. There's one called Lubuntu, and there's one called Mint Linux. And they're pretty straightforward to use, okay? So, 
back to activities here and show applications. Now, there's two ways of installing applications, friends. One is by using the SunTech Package Manager, which is this one here. Okay? Or the other one is basically by clicking here, Software. So let the catalog, catalog load up. Okay, so what I have installed, it'll come up here and show me what's all installed here. And this is the simplest way for those who have never used Linux before. Okay, so if you click add-ons here and give it a chance to load up, it'll automatically start and load up a lot of different add-ons. We can add a calculator. You can add an alarm clock on your desktop. And the beauty about this, friends, Linux distros are free, okay? It's an open source platform. And basically how Linux first started, to give you a wee bit of history about it, was in 1987, there was a guy called Linus. I think that's what his name was, okay? And basically he decided that he wanted to make an operating system for people they couldn't afford to buy Windows or had old computers, okay? And it was called Linux Distros. And since then, Linux has bloomed, okay? There's quite a number of different types of Linux. One's called Mint. One's, this one's Debamon. You've got Lubuntu, Ubuntu. You've got Arch Linux. You have many, many different types. So we'll concentrate on the Devilmon, this one here. So this here would be editor's picks that he would recommend, okay? If I go to audio and video here, it'll give me all the audio and video applications. Okay, scroll down here. And if I want to install one of these here, Basically what I would do is I would double click it, this is Homebrick, tells you what exactly what it's for, and of course I've used it before, I click install. Now Linux is built on security, so it's going to ask me for my root password security. Basically it's your administrative password that you'd use on a Windows, okay, just to make it simple. And it'll start to install. Okay, so while that's installing, I'll go back here and I'll show me applications. And I think a CPU's doing a wee bit of rushing there for a minute. One of my phones, I think it's slightly, slightly cut. What do we see now? Now some of these programs you won't know what they're for, okay, but it does take time to learn. Okay, so... Okay, so let me bring up my system monitor. And let me close this down a second. And this will be something like your task manager in Windows, okay? So this would be the processes on the Debamon Linux. And this would be the resources. Okay, so let's look at the resources. You notice that my processor is sort of reading between 70.3 at the minute. You notice that I'm only using 1.2 gigabytes of memory. And this here's the file system. Extension 4, 2.9 terabyte hard drive. Okay. So I want to see what, uh, what what's running there, have I? And it's basically this simple recorder. It's using roughly 50% on the CPU. Okay, so if I wasn't using that, basically the CPU would not be reading at all, okay? 
Now, if you take the hub file here, they do have a lot of documentation here to help you out. Okay, so this would be about all about your desktop. Let's go back one. And basically what it'll do is it'll load up a load of information. And you can print it or you can search for a particular a particular problem to do with help. But there's a simpler way of getting help if you need it. And basically if you open up your web browser and you type in Devil on Linux help, there's quite a lot of documentation about it. So let me go back here. Now, if you go back here again, show applications, that's your calendar, your calendar settings and etc. And just to give you an idea, this is some of the stuff that's uh, built into it here. Obviously, I have added a few extra programs on here. Okay, so I want to do another one. And this will give me an idea of the disk that I have used to install the operating system. As you'll see, <laughs> it's pretty well nothing. Okay, so... As I say, some people like Linux and some people don't. Now, a lot of people sometimes don't like Linux because they might find it difficult to use. But friends, if you are willing to learn, you will learn it. It's as simple as that. It even comes with a dictionary. So if I type in Belfast, it'll give me some documentation on etc. And that's just some of the programs that you can actually use, okay? Uh, let me see if I can close this. Okay. You can also add extra desktops, okay? So if you were doing something on Facebook, you could have it on this desktop. If you're doing something else, you could have it in this desktop. And it saves you closing down all your different uh, browsers and etc. You can multitask with it. Okay, files. Pretty simple. Your home folder, downloads folder, music folder, pictures folder, videos folder, waste paper basket. Now, for me to get rid of these here, all I basically do is click empty. And that's my waste paper basket empty. Okay, if you're if you're in damage radio and stuff like that, you can also install a lot of programs to do with Amateur Radio. Linux basically more or less gives you everything. Okay, now some of some of these programs on Windows will cost you big money. And the beauty about Linux is it's free. And they also... Linux distros also have a community of people. You know, if you have a problem with your Microsoft Windows today, where do you go? If you go to Microsoft, they're going to charge you. Okay? If you're on Mac and you go to Apple, unless obviously you've got a problem with your machine, you're going to be charged a certain amount. But Linux distros have communities and the people are willing to help each other. Okay, so let's type a demo on. Now, you can play games on Linux by using a, pro a program called uh, Sting. Okay. And you can also run a Windows program on Linux by using Wine and uh, different software so let's go back to Devil Mod Linux here 
The demo mod's been out for quite a number of years. Let's go to support. And you will see documentation here under support. If you've got a hardware problem on etc. And if you're not too sure of how to use it friends. There's an installation manual here. And you can download the 64 bit. In English and etc. That's the installation guide for 32. And basically you have all everything there. Supported hardware and etc. And that'll give you an idea of the hardware that it'll cover. Now if you're just using it to browse on Facebook to do word processing on a stuff like that and you've got an old computer at home that Windows 10 does not support or Windows 7 can't go on that well then Debum on Linux it's an operating system for your old computer rather than throw it out okay it's pretty straightforward uh, this one here <coughs> program here is actually a CD burner for burning your CDs no Tony is just one to media player just go, give me a second bear with me uh, where is it Brazo sorry Brazo this one here is for burning software okay you'll see there you can create audio CDs videos copy a disc burn a disc and the beauty is it's all free <laughs> it's all free now in my opinion Linux is more secure now Linux cannot get a Windows virus because a Windows virus cannot do no harm on Linux because it's a different uh, code system Linux is open source code okay so eh, don't worry you're not going to want this virus on Linux it can't do nothing uh, and this is for your photographs it's a program that I choose to put on there's quite a number of different ones you can actually put on okay so games here it's all put down okay so this is all the games that Linux Debamon supply if you want to play them and they're all free so if you're into arcade games click this one if you're into board games click this one or card games okay so let me install this one I can go to the website if I want and I can click install put in my root password which is basically your administrative password that you have on Windows okay now when you install Debum on Linux it'll ask you to make up a root password it'll also ask you to make up a home password okay so basically when it boots up and everything's installed and etc you launch in with your home folder and you put in your home password but when you want to do something else it automatically it automatically uh, asks you for what they call the root password let me go back there's hearts Sports, games, kids, eliminators, uh, blocks, <laughs> uh, adventure, okay, and action. These are all games. Okay, go to graphics on photographic okay so if you're into that's that's them all all the programs we are into scanning programs there's some scanning ones there 
photos a rabbit photo downloader access and organize and share your photos double click it you get documentation on it here and click install now the security aspect of Linux distro okay because I'm security minded in computers and uh, probably have the upper hand you'll notice how quick it is okay there would be a number of programs that I would install personally uh, as I say because I am uh, security minded on Linux and I know how the network runs and how traffic runs and how it's read okay so let me put in my root password and I'll click OK now I would personally because I know what I'm looking for I would type in uh, SSH guard click search I already have it installed okay brute protects all right from brute force attacks okay so if I highlight it that's exactly what it does it protects your network hosts from today's widespread brute force attacks it detects such attacks and blocks okay so because I know how, what sort of tools hackers use obviously I know what to put on to stop it now I also could put another program on would actually it would act as a honey pot and basically what that means it would attract hackers and in fact at computers and you're probably saying why would I do that well if I thought someone was trying to get into my network system well then I could put a program on that would actually catch them get all their details and send them to a fake server and freeze up their computer okay so it's just it depends on the knowledge you have in your own head okay so that would be one way of pardoning a system as I say there is some versions out for Linux but not very many Now Clam AV is an antivirus program you can install in Linux and it is free. You notice that I've already got them installed, okay? I've also got a, what they call rootkit uh, program installed, looking for rootkits and stuff like that there. Now, as I say, there's two ways of... Uh, there's two ways of looking for programs by the Sontech Packet Manager. Okay, so if you scroll down here and you go to mathematics there's quite a number of applications in there to do with mathematics multimedia there's loads and if you're not sure what they are if you click it one here and highlight it it'll give you documentation you can also click get a screenshot and if there is a screenshot of it it will actually show you what it is that's networking tools news groups Sans, system administrators, tools, taxing, utilities, video software, word processing, okay. As I said, it comes with uh, Abbey World. Uh, okay, so there's quite a number of programs there you can go that way. Or, you basically can use by going here, click on software, let's click on this one, and here you will have all, you've got word processors here, okay so let me, let me double click this one, the do word and let me install it, put in the root password. And hopefully I've typed the right one in. 
which I haven't. Okay, let me do it again. Okay, so that should be up installed. And it's starting to install now. If I right click on it here, I can click display settings. And this should show you exactly what this, the display settings for my particular computer. And this is your sound here. Obviously, I have what they call a, a sound uh, bar plus the main, okay? That's my microphone. And I can have what they call sound effects as I click. I got the way shooting there. <laughs> right. Okay, if I want to launch it, I can click launch here or I can go into the programs there and I can launch it. Okay, so some people use Microsoft Office. Okay. Now, you can do exactly on this here. Okay, so if you know how to use Microsoft Office, then you'll be able to use this here. And it's free, okay? Now, let me close that, cancel that, let me close again, close the third same. Okay, so let me go back here to this one. And basically this is a wee program called Simple Screen Recorder for Linux Desktop. Let me go back to software. And these are web browsers, okay, so you don't have to use Firefox web browser, <coughs> excuse me, it comes by default. Okay, you can use any particular web browser you want. And uh, as I say, install. Now, to get that browser you've installed or any programs you've installed, just go back to activities, click show applications. Or you can type it in in the search box at the type here at the top here, sorry. So if I type in bar, yeah, bar box is gonna come up automatically. I have to do with that. Let me write that. Okay, so you can also in, uh, install Google Chrome if you want. If you're used to it. Okay, so as I say friends, this is Devam on Linux. There's obviously quite a lot more gets you use, but you've been going on all night about it. Okay, so to basically install it. Okay, to basically install it, download the ASO. That was a 32 bit operating system, download 32. A boot your computer from your CD and it's pretty straightforward to install. Make sure you're connected by Ethernet connection to the internet and let it update while you're installing it. If you want to put it on the whole hard drive, it'll actually format the hard drive and all for you. And it's basically sort of yes or no consultation or consolation as you're going through the process. Now, just to let you roughly hear how it plays videos, uh, so you don't need to worry about flash players and stuff like that.
Obviously, I have a number of plugins for security reasons. One of them is called the uh, a cookie killer. It stops the cookies automatically when I visit a website. And by doing that within seconds, they don't get my details. It's as simple as that. You'll notice at the top, <laughs> it's something stops the cookies like that. Okay, because computer security is my cup of tea. And I'm always learning. Okay, so hopefully Facebook will not block it, this video, by uh, playing videos on it. Okay, so it all works automatically. Uh, let me find something to play so Facebook doesn't uh, block it. In the meantime, Miami Dade is uh, looking at evacuations of certain. Okay, so just to give you an idea, it does work, friends, okay? It does work. So this is Dabomon Linux. Okay, thanks very much for, for listening in. Uh, and give us your feedback on Facebook.